What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So in this video, it's just a quick studio tour. Just wanted to share that what, what I've built up over the years um, in my per, in my production, my my produce, <laughs> produce in my producer journey. This isn't to brag because I don't do that. It's just a case of inspiring others and showing that over time how you can build up your studio and get it to a point where it's just your zone you know what i'm saying you got to make this you got to make your zone comfortable because if you think about it you you should be spending like most of your time in that place so it's got to be comfortable do you know what i'm saying so yeah this video is just a little tour into my studio and where I, where i create my beats and have artists come and record let's start off with the vxt6s got the uh, krks I've had, I've had them since about 2008 so what we on now what 10 years yeah 10 years deep and this Still, still doing the job. Every now and again, I might play up. I think I might need to go and get a little service in, but for now, we're, we're good. So we just roll with that. And then we've got the 27 inch Mac, iMac. Put some more RAM in there just to speed things up a bit. Uh, I can't remember what the size of the R drive is. I'll probably just put it in the description or something like that. But then we've got the um, four external hard drives, which are down there. Underneath, you can see uh, that little bit of paper on the left there is it's like my daily mantra. It's what I say to myself every day, innit? So, what you, you, what, you don't do mantras? Come on. So, moving on, a bit of vape juice. You need, you need a bit of vape in your life. You need some kind of um, crutch, they call it. Then, we've got the Aston Martin mic. Push the pop. It was massive. So that's just a mic with the hat on to keep the dust off. Some people like to unplug their mics and put them back in a box, but I just put a little hat on it. And that's the Casey Sounds logo, just in case I forget who I am. And then we've got the Audio Technicas, which I've had for years. You can see they're looking a bit tatty, but it's okay because they still sound good. Then we've got the diary with some post-it notes. Diary is my like to to do list. I, I'd like to plan my day from the night before, or even like a couple of days ahead, so I know that when I get up, I know what I'm doing for the day. It's not for everyone, but it works for me. The iPad uh, sometimes use that for the the controller, and Logic, uh, just to like hit record or um, for faders and stuff like that. But I don't really use it that much, if I'm honest. And then let's move on. We've got. CD player, I don't know who's still using CDs, but I do. We've got the Apollo Twin Duo, which is a beast. Like the plugins and that's amazing, the sounds amazing. And yeah, that's just, uh, that's like the, that's a massive part of the studio. So then we've got the M Audio. No, it's not, is it M Audio? No, sorry, I'm lying. Then we've got the Novation Launch Key 49. Uh, I had uh, when I first started, I had a little um, 25 keys that my mum bought me. <laughs> and yeah, the 25 is nice, but I just need more. I just need a, a wider octave. So that works for me. It's a cool little, little MIDI keyboard. It's nice. You turn it on, all the lights come on. Looks all pretty and stuff. And down there is another to do list like jobs that I've got going on and stuff needs updating and then what else we got just want to quickly talk about these uh these bits of acoustic treatment in the studio like uh, these cream ones i made myself using rock wool and wooden battens and then obviously it's covered with, with a bit of cloth and i've done the same here this, i've changed them ones to gray because I like grey, as you can tell by the walls, and um, yeah, just I just done it myself. So yeah, and to finish off with, the uh, studio desk is it's actually IKEA. It's all IKEA. There's the one I had before was all uh, all black, and I put a bit of fablon on it, but it weren't really working. I felt like it was a bit too dark, and this one now uh, is just. Uh, it's it's nice especially like when you turn the lights off <clears throat> like i've got this the lights from ikea as well so at night 
when I'm in there vibing or the artists here recording and the lights are on. Yeah, it's all good. It just creates a vibe. Like I said, you spend most of your time in your studio, or you should be, so it's got to be comfortable 100%. So, turn that light back on. So yeah, that was just a quick studio tour, um, just to show you what, what I'm working with, what I've been working with. Um, I've built that up over the last 10 years or more, do you know what I'm saying? So um, for anyone who's just starting out, don't think like you have to go and jump straight in and buy all this like, stuff. Just start small and build it up the way that I have. By doing that, it kind of creates a sound because you know, you know your equipment, you've lived with it for how long, you've worked with it for how long, and then you slowly build it up and then you, you progress and you buy more stuff and then build and build and build. So yeah, that's my studio tour. Um, uh, hit me up on Instagram. I'm always posting like little stories and tips and tricks and stuff uh, that I don't get to put on YouTube. If you like this video at all, if you find some kind of inspiration from it or you just enjoyed watching it, hit that like button. I appreciate that. Appreciate your time. Music is life. Peace.